りますが、キャツザキコを許せないのは同意です。After the ending of Danganronpa V3, I've always hoped that anyone could deliver a Danganronpa esque inspired adventure. Hopefully, with their own twists and gameplay systems. With the reveal of Process of Elimination, my mind instantly wondered could Nippon Ichi pull this off? After playing the recent demo, I better understood this mystery adventure and what inspirations it took from other titles. Before we get into the video, we'd like to thank our Patreon supporters for making this possible. Please take a second to check out patreon.com slash noisypixel to support independent game journalism. In process of elimination, you are greeted by a distorted voice that calls itself the Quartering Duke. The serial killer always leaves two victims behind for the sake of entertainment. The protagonist, Wato Hojo, enrolls as a rookie detective in the Gun Joji Detective Agency to help stop their plans. While investigating the case of an animal abuser, he comes across an older man who introduces himself as the senior detective of the Detective Alliance. He says he's been scouted to join the Alliance, a dream come true for a young protag. The opening cinematic provides a nice dose of nostalgia for several other mystery novels that I've played in the past, making it tough not to draw similarities to them, especially Ding and Rampa. For this preview, I have played through Chapter 1 twice on PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. In either version, I found no issue whatsoever. Still, if I were to pick one, I would probably go for the Switch, as the visual novel flavor of this title feels right at home when considering the portability, given that you'll be paging through lines and lines of text for the majority of the time. The interactions between these characters in these early moments felt like they were just scratching the surface of how complex their personalities might become. Still, you understand some key points about their traits, such as Techi's knack for inventions and Dolful's danger magnet. The profile option on the main menu also explains their rank in the Alliance and their most notable case. During interactions, it's easy to stay engaged thanks to the presentation. Each character is expressive through 2D animations with various sprites and transitions. Investigation systems are also touched on in this demo, which opens up around 70% of the way through. The ideal detective will walk you through how to investigate several spots around the scene by commanding each of the detectives to different actions, such as analyze certain spots and examining suspicious areas, to solve the case before time runs out. Each detective has different stats, and you must prepare for anything. As there will be times when detectives will move independently, whether you like it or not. The first case is pretty easy to get through and receive a 100% ranking, but I can imagine that the subsequent scenes will be rather tricky and require some precise strategy to obtain a high rating. While this demo is just scratching the surface of the iceberg, the ideas that process of elimination bring to the table feel unique in a familiar space for me. The setting resembles the constant tension of Danganronpa, but the characters and adventure elements make it feel like a completely new experience. Further, the added layer of strategy gives the gameplay portions more depth, as I feel like I have more control over the flow of the investigation. The cliffhanger ending on the demo has me excited to unravel more of this narrative when the full version releases on April 11th, 2023, for PS4 and Nintendo Switch. Thanks for watching! This video is brought to you by our supporters on Patreon. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers providing independent gaming coverage through news, reviews, previews, and more. Please check out our Patreon to help support our continued growth and subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.